There are actions you can take before and after an interview to increase your chance of success. This short video lasts approximately five minutes. During this time we will look at how to prepare for an interview, what to do after an interview and learn the importance of feedback. So sit back, relax and enjoy our short video. It's important that you take time to prepare before an interview. So here are some tips to help you begin. Ring the employer to let them know you will be attending. This is a good time to ask what type of interview it will be. Try to find out as much as you can about the company, what they do, who their competition is. And it's a good idea to read the company's mission statement and core values so that you get a good feel for what the company is really like. Read the job description again. Make sure you understand what the job involves and how you can match your strengths and skills to the role. You need to be able to give examples of these in your interview. Collect all the information you've been asked to bring, which may include ID documents, references, a CV or a copy of your application form. Put everything together neatly in a folder. Decide what you're going to wear. This will make the employer aware that you are taking the interview seriously and are keen to make a good first impression. Get your clothes ready the day before and make sure they're clean and not creased. Aim to arrive about 10 minutes early. It's a good idea to do a practice run so that you know how to get there and how long it will take you. Practice answering interview questions with friends or family or you could speak to one of our online advisors to book a mock interview to help you practice. And try not to let your nerves show too much. A few nerves are normal, but extreme nerves will affect your performance. Try using breathing techniques to help you relax. And don't smoke or drink alcohol before the interview. The smell can be very off-putting and will affect the interviewer's opinion of you. And remember, your interview starts the minute you walk in the building. Be polite to whoever greets you, but don't engage in chit chat. Look at any information about the company that may be there whilst you're waiting. After the interview, there are actions you can take to help make sure you leave a good lasting impression and to help you in future interviews. Ask at the end of the interview what the next steps are and when you may expect to hear. Make notes of who you saw, the types of questions they asked, what went well and what you could improve on. This will help you to prepare for future interviews. Consider writing them a thank you note. This demonstrates that you take interest and appreciate the time the employer's taken and their interest in you. It can also remind the employer how interested you are. Inform your referees. Make sure they know that they may be contacted. The sooner they know, the quicker they will react when contacted. If you are unsuccessful and don't get the job, it's important that you get feedback. Knowing why you didn't get the job and what you could have done better to perform in the interview will help make sure you don't repeat the same mistakes in your next interview. And finally, don't stop looking for work, even if you feel confident that you are going to get a job offer from this interview. Continue looking at other opportunities. It's never wise to place too much importance on one job or one interview. So how will you use these secrets to improve your chance of an interview? We've reached the end of our short video. Together, we have learned that by researching and speaking to the employer, you may find out what type of interview you will be attending. And by planning and organising yourself the day before the interview, you will increase your confidence levels and feel more ready to attend. Don't forget to ask for help to prepare interview responses. Practising what you will say will increase your overall feeling of interview confidence. And always remember, each interview you attend is one step closer to your next job. Learn as much as you can from each interview so you can find out what you do well and what could be improved on for the next time. Don't forget to complete the worksheet for this video and the other videos and worksheets in the series. Thank you for watching today and goodbye.